What's going on YouTube? Really good. Those coming at you on the episode today. So I want to connect a couple of things before I do this mark watch, guys. Number one, me and John were having our debate. I guess we want to call it whatever you guys want to say it. This Thursday, by the time I get back from New York, it'll be probably about Wednesday. Right now, I am in New York. I'm at my family's house, my kid brother's game collection, all that jazz. So I'll be back this. Th I'll be back around Wednesday. Most likely, we'll do the debate around Thursday. So keep out for that, guys. If you're following the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mark Watch Facebook group, the link will be below. And I'll, I'll post there. I'm sure John will post on his Facebook groups and whatnot. Just to give everyone a heads up of what's going on as far as that. That's one. Two, I just want to make a couple of things clear. One, I, I, I hate reliterating this, but I'll just reliterate one. Well, you know, for you guys, I'll probably do it again at the beginning of the live stream. But <clears throat> as an OTS door, I understand what I did was wrong. And I'm taking my punishment. I, I, I'm not arguing my punishment. I never argued. I never, you know, said anything to Konami saying, hey, listen, I don't think it was right. I accept what Konami has given me. My grievance is not with that. Hopefully everyone can understand that. Uh, two, John has came to me and apologized. He has said, this was handled the wrong way. I wish I handled it a different way. And that is, that, that is what that is. So I know there's two sides of the argument. I know one side's arguing something, you know, that, uh, you know, that argument. Another side's arguing the argument I just said before. Guys, that's it. That's it right there. That that's something I'm not talking about, or debating about, or have my grievances with. So hopefully you guys can understand that. Hopefully you guys can can move on with that. And like I said, thank you everybody who supported me. I've had insane amount of support. I had an insane amount of people that you know <clears throat> that wasn't uh, watching my channel and now subscribe to the channel. So I appreciate everybody subscribed. I had a lot of people that are subscribed that are, remain subscribed. Not losing anybody. I'm, I think I, I really feel like I've gained a lot through this. Uh, as well as you know, people that uh, support not just my YouTube channel but myself as an OTS source. So I really appreciate that, guys. And I really thank you. And hopefully, this Thursday in the debate, I can show you my guys my arguments and my opinions, and, and show you why I came to come to my conclusion of what I what I have been saying in my previous videos and what I have done. So hopefully, I can help you out. Right, let's, let's bring with the marker watch. <laughs> um, I just want to talk about dragonic diagram. <clears throat> By the way, my throat is a little fucked up. Um, when you drive 12 hours, you get no sleep. I guess. Your body kind of pays a toll. My toll today is the throat, so just give you guys a heads up. <clears throat> Dragonic, Dragonic Diagram. This card, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, was about $90. <clears throat> God damn, my fucking throat's fucked up. Anyway, this card, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, was roughly around the $90 mark. And it's shooting down. It's about $79 right now. It's in the near mint. And the reason why it's going down is because we have a reprint coming out within a couple of days. The reprint set will come out. The Maximum Crisis Special Edition, and I feel Dragon Diagram, even though it's a great card, even though it's a blow card, I feel that the reprint value will be around the $65 to $70 range. This card's gonna be still holding over a little over, and then they're gonna equal out, and as the set moves on, set progresses, and if this card still remains a great card, it's gonna blow out its previous uh, Unlimited Edition. The first one is always gonna be a little bit better in value and just in general trade, so keep an eye out for that, guys. Up next, uh, up next, Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Now she's holding at $65. I said she was gonna hit $65. Here she is holding. She's gonna she's gonna dive down a little bit more, guys. In fact, the unlimited is what's gonna drive her price down. So I went to go, Ash Blossom went down in value. Yes and no. Yes, it went down in value. No, the unlimited uh, is the only one that really went down in value. But like I said, it's, it's, it's gonna be a little bit of a change. We're gonna see, hit, see this card hit about $55, $60 real soon. And then by nationals, it'll be hitting about $50. <clears throat> Um, next, Masterpiece of, Masterpiece of True Draco Sayer King, he's hitting a $22 mark, um, he's hitting 15 soon, guys, like, he's been hitting, he's been 22 for a while, but 15's coming right around the corner, so please keep it off of that, guys, this is a great card, but 15 is the value it's gonna be at. Up next, we got Tornado Dragon, hit the $11 mark, this card was originally $18 on release, and here it is right now, $11, guys. We might see this card hit $8 soon. By next week, this card might be an $8 card. Just realize that. If you do have this card, I would 100% get rid of it unless you exactly need it for locals or if you have like a retail coming out like within a week or whatever, sure. But realistically, get rid of this card. It's going lower and lower and lower. Unending Nightmare. I'm using a, uh, a new mouse, a different mouse. Unending Nightmares is about roughly $11 to $12. Now, <clears throat> this card, let's check it out real quickly, guys. This card has shown some weird uh, changes in prices and weird uh, valuations. One of them is that, you know, <sighs> okay. <laughs> One of them is the jump it's doing. It went up because pendulums were gonna be a thing with the new banners and everyone's expecting it, so everyone's trying to buy this card. It's going down because it takes forever for this new banners to hit. I think we'll be hitting on the 15th or 17th. I could be wrong though. And now it's starting to go up a little more and people because people are getting ready for the new banners. So, 
what I say, guys, this card is going to go up with more value. This card is going to have more playability. And we're going to see the price go up a little bit higher, actually. I'm hoping it goes down to, like, sevens so I can buy it up. I don't think it's going to. I think it's going to keep going. And I think it's going to be a uh, really, really blowout card next set. Up next, Duels Alliance. This card is $7.50. This was $20 a week and a half ago. $20. I sold mines for fourteen dollars, and I, I'm not looking. I'm so excited. I'm not looking back. If you guys watch my box opening videos, I pulled about forty semi box openings, and then just do out buying packs or, or or going to regions, getting packs or whatever it is or trades. Uh, I've been getting this card and cracking it nonstop. And when it when it shot up to fourteen, I unloaded. I'm gonna be happy I did. This card's going back down in value, guys. When pendulums come out, when the new when the new balance rolls out, we might see this card price card price go up a little bit. Don't freak out. It's gonna go back down. So. Just realize that, guys. All the people that bought the deck on hype, Gemini's Perpetuals on hype, they bought this already at 20s. Where I'm not buying at 20s, I don't recommend anyone else buying this card at 20s. It will go down more in value, guys. Up next, Ultra Polymerization is about 450. <clears throat> it actually had a little bit of a jump. I'll put it aside so we can change price chance in a second. It had a little bit of a jump for a second. I'm not sure if it's going to go up higher. This is a great card, guys. This is a great card to hold. If you pull this card, I recommend not selling it. I have about six personally that I'm holding on to. Uh, price is the same. It's actually stabilizing in price, so it's showing that's not going too crazy. It's showing that's not moving too much. So that's really good to know. That's good to know that the price isn't just tanking, even though it's showing that it is in the red, which means it has 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 had a pre, uh, uh, a big price jump down. I feel like this card is a card that can be good in the future, and it's definitely a card worth investing in. So that's the set for my some crisis. Look at um, <clears throat> Duelist Pack of Dimensional Guardians. This embarrassment of a fucking set. Spire Flame Strike is still holding at five dollars, though. That's really good. Pendulum Fusion actually went up a little bit. It's about five dollars, roughly. Five Fairy Born went up a little bit. Speed Void Dom the Domino Butterfly is it's it's kind of low a little bit. So I mean, this guys, this is what I take from it. Don't buy this set. Buy the cards individually. There's nothing good in this set to buy for packs. There's nothing investing wise for this set. There's nothing at all in this set. This set's a waste of time. So it's a my time. It's gonna be your time, guys. Give you guys a heads up. Rate the trade for hardware to buy. Let's look at um, Duelist Saga for a second. We have Trisha Dragon the Ice Bear. She's still $18. She has not broken that number. I, th I think she was a couple of days ago when I, when I talked about her. She was roughly $18.39. Here she is right here. She's still having excellent value, guys. And I really do like this card. Uh, I, I, it, it's amazing how its value is stagnant. Its value has not been moving. It's really interesting to see where this card's going to go. Will it, can it go up higher or can it go up lower? I definitely say this is a card you want to keep an eye out for, guys. I'm going to say I'm Voker. You know... <laughs> With so many um, <clears throat> players talking about how um, uh, how Zodiac still a great thing, and Zodiac is, by the way, you know, it's still it, you, it, you can't ignore the fact that Zodiac is amazing. But so many players talking about how, how you know it's a blowout or whatever it is. Um, and Voker has been taking a big hit, and this is the core card of the deck. Besides, we were top, rest in peace. It is the core ca card of the deck that really you know allows all these other uh, pieces to bring something out which is invoker which helps you know promote your zodiac combos and i'm watching it here take a bit of a dive and i'm wondering is it because all the uh, uh you know all the players are starting to slow down on zodiacs is it because everyone has their invokers because it's been out so much so long the reprint of sand's been out for so long i don't know what i do know is this is a card that if you do have from the, what i'm seeing on price trends the evaluation saying sell it's showing it's going down it just recently stabilized in price I don't know whether this card is a good card to hold. I, I really worry on this card. Um, I would definitely say this is a card I would sell. If I had this card right now on me, I would 100% sell this card and unload this card as fast as possible. Once again, Imperial Order was $6 for the longest while. It just broke it just broke on. It's about $5 now. So if you guys don't have it and you guys did wait, I, excellent idea. I, I think but before I did start doing my market watches, I saw the reprint Imperial Order and I'm like, fuck that. I'm, I'd rather write down a dumb piece of paper or print it on my phone or whatever the hell it is or print it from my phone, you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> or show it if, depending on you go, some, some places you go to, you can show a picture on your phone and you'll be good to go. But I am not hearing this card's price value and I'm glad that this card has went down in, uh, in its price value because it's a reprint. It's really a scumbag move Konami did to make us, to force us to get this card to show any player who whines and bitches at tournaments because they don't know that. They, they want to know the real Imperial Order ruling. No, dude, you're not trying to find the real Imperial Order ruling. You're trying to give me a game loss based on some bullshit. That's what it is. That's what it comes down to with this card. So let's look at um, Star Pack, by the way, real quickly, guys. Speed Void Terror Shop, the Star Foil is $3. I mean, you can't express how badly this card is taking a price. <clears throat> it's also three dollars for the common. So if if you are buying CP or Terra Tops, uh, bless your heart, uh, three dollars. That's just, I mean, wow. 
That's, I mean, you really are hanging in there. This is a super duper long term investment. And I'm not saying not to buy this if you want to invest in a car. I'm not saying that at all. I am saying watch what you buy because this is something you want, you're going to hold on to as common and not realize the OT is the one that has is going to have the value. If somehow Spirit Teratop went to three, the ban list after the next one, or even our next ban list, will it be at $15 for the OT? No, no, no. The OT will spike in value. The OT will hit about 40 based on hype. Settle down and be about about 35, 30 dollar range. That's what's gonna happen with Speedway Terror Top. The other variations, including the Starcore and other variations, even the Super Rare, which is 250, which was once a 15 dollar card, that is still gonna be at its value. It might go up a dollar or two, but nothing crazy. It's a horrible investment. You want to invest in the OTS pack, OT Rare? Right now it's about 15 dollars, guys. I'm gonna tell you something crazy. Wait some more. Because when Times Can National comes around, you can buy these for $10 at Nationals. $10 for OTS Ulti. That's excellent value, guys. And depending on how you want to do it, I would say I personally recommend buying two play sets. Um, when, I always go one for personal and then one whatever way you want to do, trade or sell. I like to do nine, but in this set situation, you would do one for trade and one for sell. This is a super long-term investment. This is something we're not going to see for a long while come off the banners. But when it does come off the banners, guys, we're going to see value and big value. Up next, let's, let's look at Fusion of Forces. We got Invocation, hit, get ready to hit 15. You got Heavily Played, about 1625. A first edition near Mint's about almost 20. Guys, this card's hitting $15. I said by Nationals, I might be wrong. It might hit $15 sooner, guys. Uh, I, just, invokes are a great deck, but they're not good enough right now in this meta. And the prices are reflecting that. This one's a $50 card. It's going to be hit in $15 soon, guys. So if you do want to get the deck ready, or you want to, uh, if you all go to Nationals, Wait for it, proxy, do whatever you gotta do because when time nationals comes, you get this deck for a really good discounted price. And for those who are looking for to, for cards to invest in, I, I I don't know where to invest in this arch type, but it's definitely a good arch type to pick up and hold as a whole arch type. And if you want to ever unload it in the future or sell in the future, or if it gets any new cards, any hype, this is a great deck to do it for. I think Konami has a lot. There's a lot of potential in this deck that Konami hasn't explored it yet. We have Alistair, Invocation, and then basically everything else is all in. The extra deck as far as monsters. Mechabot, it was holding for the longest time at 15 for about two, three weeks at around roughly $15. And now we're seeing Mechabot go down under the $15 mark. So that's really interesting to see, guys. Fryfer Kraken, $3. Near Mint, um, I can't wait till this card becomes nothing. I just, it's a horrible card for $3. Anyway, guys, we have Raging Tempest and we have Zoda Barrage, which is $50 and it's slowly going down. I, I always constantly say Zoda Barrage. Sub barrages, sub barrages. Everyone, I hear other people telling me, no, you're wrong. You, people need to pick them up for these prices because they go up in value. They're not. After Nationals, this car is going to be worth nothing. It's going to get slammed on a ban list. This is the future Inferno launcher. It's amazing. It hasn't been hit yet. In Japan, it's been slammed. This card's getting slammed just like we got slammed in Japan, guys. This card's going to lose all its value. So if you don't need it for Nationals, you want to load this card and make yourself some money. The rest of the cards are like Robo is about $14, $15 range. Dryden's have always been 12 Full spare goods just just hitting the eleven dollar range, and you know what? Once again, guys, I'll say it: six to seven dollars is this card's price point. The grass of green is about five fifty. I, I I just I'm I'm waiting. I'm waiting until it hits about threes, and when it hits threes, I will seriously highly consider picking a bunch of these cards up. It's still a blog card. It's still a great card, but not at five dollars, not at six dollars. It was at three, and we're in, the, in nationals, and it was at five dollars. I I'd highly consider picking it up. Due to the fact that it's at one, I'll wait till it's at three. Go to Nationals, buy a bunch up. That's the smart way to do it. <clears throat> see Monster of Thessalus? I'm going to look at price trends. I see it went up a little bit. I'll talk about it in a second. Another thing I want to say, guys, if you don't have your Wind Witches, oh, God, that smells. If you don't have your Wind Witches, the, 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 just a nice set of them, please pick them up. They're really ch relatively cheap. You'll spend about $15 to $20 for a set of Wind Witches. First edition near mints. Get three and three and three. Screw it. Just do it. Who, I mean, you can always sell what you don't need when it goes up even more in value. I just find that Wind Witches is a great sub arch type it's not really that blow out as an arch type but it's, it's, i guess it's a sub arch type i feel there's a lot more potential there i feel there's a lot of new decks i can't exploit them come links so this is something very interesting i guess i used the word come links um full force virus full force virus bleh, i'll talk about in a second guys but let's look at real quickly sea monster atheseus it's starting to creep up in there in price it's starting to slowly go up in there in price as we move towards the new ban list as we move towards playing this card in the ban list in the new meta in the new zodiac variants we're seeing the card prices rise up in value the problem with me is with this card is this card has been out so much it's been printed out it's been printed not long ago and with the raging tempest and it's been pulled a lot meaning there's a lot of this card to go around we're not, that's why we're not seeing a spike in price you're seeing a slow incline in price it will reach its climax and incline 
<laughs> these words are so hilarious. At, at around seven to eight dollars, which is nice, but I'm looking in the future with this card. I'm looking to mid to long term investment with this card. This is a card you get when it's at four dollars. If you want to make a quick couple of bucks, guys, please buy it now at five dollars. When the balance comes out, a week after the balance comes out, this will be about seven to eight dollars card, guaranteed. But I'm looking at the longer term investment. I'm looking at this card buying at three and seeing it in the future, long in the future, at a high price point, guys. But right now we're looking at looking at right here in price range, it does have a small incline. Now, um, um you know, you name it about 524, 525, another penny more, you get a first edition name it. And just look look at how many are, are there. You got eleven, two, three, of course you got one down there, thirteen, four, seven, two, you got four pages, one guy has fourteen, ideal eight oh eight. Look coming about six dollars. It's gonna be a very long while before this card reaches from five to six. Can it? Yes. Do I think it is? Yes, but I don't think it's gonna be as huge as an increase in value as everyone's talking about. Up next, so about Full Force Virus. If you guys don't watch the channel at all, you've been know I'm, I'm crazy for this card. I personally have nine of this card. I'm looking to buy more, by the way. I said I the best time to buy is at three dollars. I bought some at four. I bought a bunch at four. I still say three dollars is my favorite number to buy this card at. And here we are, guys. We're near that number. Looking at price trend showing it's about to dive down. It's gonna hit three dollars online. And if it's three dollars online, it's definitely gonna hit three dollars by nationals. If the price goes down a little more, it might be two dollars at nationals. Two dollars at nationals for a full force virus card. For full force virus, this is a generic dark monster card, meaning it works for any dark monster with two dollars less defense. It has a blowout ability. Right now, the meta is not good, but in the future, maybe even come, you know, definitely maybe early links and not mid during link during our whole link season or format, whatever you want to call it. This is gonna be the card. This is gonna be a money card, guys. I'm just giving you guys a heads up right now. It's about two and change. When it hits three, jump on it. This is a great value. First in the mint is about three seventy-four, guys. You could probably even go to your local get it for three dollars. This is a great card. Up next, Destiny Soldiers. Dark Lord Ishio is a, is roughly twenty dollars. It was like twenty-two a couple of weeks ago, handling about twenty dollars. I know a lot of people have been hitting me up about Dark Lord and saying, "Hey man, I really want to get Dark Lord's Arch type." You can literally get everything else except Ichel. Uh I think Nas is coming about. Actually, it went up a little bit. It was around like five and change, about the six. Um, you can probably get it for five of your local store, but you can get the rest of these cards. Hold off on Ixchel, she's going to be hitting $15. You might see her at regionals uh, in the next couple of weeks, handling about $16 to $18. You can hold up to Nationals, guys. You'll be picking this card for $15. She's going to go down in value. Looking at price trends, let's see what we got here. Let's see if she has started showing uh, any kind of devaluation on price trends. Um, she has not. She's. It looks like it's even now, and, and at the tip of it right here on price trends, it looks like it's, it's, it's fighting to go up more. I'm not sure if it's going to go up more, guys, but I don't care. It's going to be hitting the $15 soon, guys. I guarantee it. Up next, D-Barrier. was $34. It was $35. It was $38. And every time I hear that, you know, around that time, I said, sell, sell, sell. I'm hearing other people say, buy, buy, buy. And, and it's going down in value. This is a blowout card, though, guys. Don't get me wrong. But you do not buy a card when it's losing its value. That's a horrible way to lose money. It's, it's like taking a ten dollars, making a bunch of singles, and every day just working up and taking a dollar, throwing it out the window, and going, "I'll see you tomorrow." And the next day, throw it out the window. Do not do that. You are losing money in your cards. Now, dimensional barriers are hitting about twenty nine dollars to thirty dollars, twenty nine to thirty dollars roughly for unlimited. I don't know much about first editions. So I'm not gonna go look again too much because my page is running kind of slow. It's my laptop, by the way. But anyway, I, I feel like this card's gonna be twenty five dollars, and I don't know whether to buy or not. But I do feel that that's the price that's gonna be hitting real soon, guys. Keep an eye out for that card's price point. We also have Totally Awesome, which is $22. It was like $25, $24. This card's fighting every person it gets to hold on to value, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, guys. The price is dropping rapidly. This card is losing its value. This card's $15, guaranteed. Another great card, but it'd be about $15 by Nationals. Starring Venom Fusion Dragon. I don't, guys, I, I, I don't have words to say why this card has any value. This card was $7 a couple of weeks ago. Here we are looking at it right now. It's eleven dollar fucking card. Twelve dollars you want for engineer mint. Twelve dollars for this card, guys. I, I I don't know if it's Yu-Gi-Oh collectors or if it's if it's people specking something that I don't see. I just can't see this card being at this price. So Terry now says Arch is gonna be at three dollars soon, guys. Here it is right now at four. It was recently at six about a week or two ago. So it's definitely had a huge price fluctuation from you know six dollars to where it is four dollars right now. But it's gonna be hitting three dollars, guys. And when it hits three dollars, guys, you really want to keep an eye out for this card because. It might even go lower. I'm, I'm picking up at threes personally. That's where I'm pulling the trigger. But I'm giving you guys a hit. It might go a little bit lower. Okay. Um, you know, Legendary Dex 2. White Zone Agents is still $5. I guess we have some Dragon players that are like, no, we got this. So, White Zone Agents is handling about $5. <clears throat> Black Zone Legend, the reprint, 
is about 350. The original version is still holding value because of collector's value. And that's really as far as this. I mean, you got a lot of cards. Eternal Soul, which, you know, a lot, a lot of magician esque plays are saying this is, you know, are looking to pick up all magician cards. This is one of them for about $3. And then Ties of the Brother, which is a card I really want, really, really, you know, originally want to talk about this set. It's about 321 for first edition of Mint. TCG Low West is holding about 20 three of this card. So this card's not jumping in value anytime soon. This card of anything is gonna lose any more value. Uh it's it's so weird how I I, I go by two weeks ago. I saw you know it's the last time I, I felt like the, the biggest change within these prices. This card was like seven fucking dollars each last week ago. A couple of weeks ago. And look at that jump. It just it, tr it tried holding on, it jumped down, stood steady and then and then look at this decline and that's and that's just the Yu-Gi-Oh players anticipation of link format that is the market uh, uh arranging itself because of of not you know people wanting demand for this card so there's people like tc low west holding about 23 of these and here we got this card devaluating so this is a card i said a while ago sell i still say to sell it's a great card still guys and maybe you know one day it will get see value it will see play but right now this is a card that will be hitting your dollar binder okay we got duels pack rival the pharaoh silent magician is about six dollars this is a four dollar card and for four dollars, that was a nutty price. And here we're looking at about six dollars right now. I think this is for spellbook hype. Uh, if you guys don't know about spellbooks, and OC they're using that new spellbook of Ruja, combining with spellbooks, combining that with also um, True Kings or Draco Kings, how you want to call it. So I think that this is one card that be is used in the deck. And I just that price is insane. Little Bio of Beans is starting to increase in price. Um, I'm not sure price is gonna gonna reflect that or not, but. It's definitely increasing in price, and that could be just for anticipation of this meta or the upcoming new meta with Lynx guys. But let's check it out real quickly. It, it was uh, holding even, fighting in price value, and then it went back down a little bit and it's holding even. This is roughly about six dollars, roughly five seventy-five. So six dollars for Lady by Obedience. I, I don't know if this card's gonna open value anymore, guys. I don't I, I don't know if it's gonna have any kind of um, play within the future of this game. But what I do know is, this is still a great card. I do know this is a card you want to invest in. I, I, I really feel like this is a card that you can even pick up about in a dollar binder when it goes to the dollar binder. This is a great investment long term, but this is still a great card, guys. Up next, we're, let's look at a couple of cards. Some Strike, which was $30, is now $22. Put in Fusion, which had a buyout, is now at $9, where it was like $15, roughly. That's hilarious. Twin Twisters is handling at $6. It's not changing its price, and we got Game of right there. I'll talk about that probably. I'll probably talk about that in another video, but I just, want to pick, I just want to take out these two cards. So, Strike was getting its common reprint, so we're seeing that value change. Looking at Brilliant Fusion, when it loads, here we go, is about $7 and change. And after $7, for Brilliant Fusion goes right into $9 um, for the original version. The Mega 10 is about $9 and handling about $9. And I'll tell you right now, guys, I said it when the buy was happening. This card is going to lose value. So many people hit me up. I got a lot of messages on Facebook. And it's always like, hey, should I get Beauty Fusion now? Should I get Beauty Fusion now? No, do not pull the trigger. The buyout would happen. Once the buyout happens, the market will adjust itself. And that's what we're seeing right now. The market adjusts itself. And the card will lose value. It will go back down to like $6, $5. And then we can talk about whether you want to buy this card for either investing or playability or anticipation of link format, which I feel this card will be hitting the ban list. Um, and even though I feel like it will be hitting the ban list, I'll probably get a playset when it hits $5, which will be happening real soon, guys. I'm just telling you right now, the market is adjusting itself. And it's showing you right here, guys. I talked about it when, it, when the card was doing a buyout. And here is the evidence right here. It's adjustment. Come here next, we're gonna have Psalm Strike. <clears throat> Let me just, uh, okay, here we go. OTS Psalm Strike's about 60. It's slowly going underneath the 60 dollar mark. This was originally a 90 dollar card. Underneath the OTS pack 4. I should know. And now it's 60. That's interesting. We have the original Bosch 25, and then we have 22. Like I said before in a previous video, you're gonna get your Bosch Seeker Rares. You're gonna get your Seeker from original set be a little bit higher than a reprinted, a reprinted in this case, Seeker Rare. This is about 22. The from set we're really seeing about 25 and up. So I feel like the Bosch is, is always had more value. I get some people that go, oh, I like Mega Tins because the, the artwork is a little brighter or whatever it is. But I always, if I had some strike, which I did sell when it, I, I sold it was like 30, 35, I still say sell it. It still has value. It's still gonna lose its value. Uh, I always say get the original, the original printing, which is first edition Breaker of Shadows, first edition. Psalm Strike and Mega Tins is gonna lose all, almost all its value. The Breaker of Shadow one will be about ten dollars. The OT will be anywhere from about forty, eh, thirty, forty dollars, guys. Thirty to six dollars. Looking at currently, but I think it's gonna be about thirty to forty dollars. It reminds me of Pile Duality a lot. 
Even though Paul Duarte reprinted and have a second sticker rare. I don't know why Konami did that, but I guess they have a crazy. They still have a reprint of cards of crazy value, like uh, as they did the Mega Tens. Cardamize is losing its value. Look at that price drop. Jesus. This card was $45 at one point. Its price is dropping, and it's, this is a ball of price, but if you go buy this card, I feel like it's going to go up in value a lot. Right after the ban list, we're going to see this card go up in value some more. I could be wrong. I'm really specking on this one. I'm really throwing, I'm coming from the left side, guys, but this, it could go back to $45. I feel that's going to happen. I, there's no news that it reprints. It was originally coming in what Millennium Pack, which I I don't think is a reprinted card. A reprinted card yet. It's an amazing card, guys. I think this card's gonna be higher in value. I could be wrong, but I really feel this price is going to spike some more, guys. We have Pot of Duality. The Astro Pack Five is about fifty dollars. Give you guys a heads up on that. The original printing is about ten dollars, and then the reprints are all anywhere from three thousand below. Lose one turn is a great card to invest in, guys. It's about to go up in value. There it is right there. I said it a while ago. I said it when it was around here. I'm like, this card's gonna, this card was two dollars. It should not be that price. We're really gonna announce about dollar seventy, dollar seventy, around the near the two dollar range, guys. It's about to go up. Hop on the train, pick a lose one turn. They got the mega pack. They got the super rare, and they got the original printing from I believe Cross Souls. I believe some of those cards on the card. That I, I say specking, guys. Three dollars for super rare from Astro Pack Six. I'm not saying pendulums are gonna be blow up, but pendulums are deck in link format. I feel this card's gonna be a lot more than what we're looking at. I feel we're potentially looking at seven to ten dollar card right here, guys. And my last card to talk about, guys, is Terraforming Super. It's still holding fifteen dollars in value. It's gonna go down more in price, guys. We might see this card hit twelve, and then maybe even ten dollars uh, in value. Even though Terraforming is a great card, I just feel that it's not strong enough. That Link Format's not gonna be a format of, of field spells as we had had a field spell format with Pendulum Format. M more near the end of Pendulum Format. I don't think Link's gonna have that. I wish Link's, Link Format does continue field spell format, field spell cards, you know, great field spell cards in the format. And if it does, this card will, this price will maintain and not rise. I just feel the opposite, guys. So, guys, I'm interested in about that, guys. I appreciate everybody watching videos. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for uh, subscribing, guys. You guys are awesome. Guys, please comment below. I read all comments mostly. I'm not on vacation right now, but when I get back home, I'll be reading more comments and I'll be uh, interacting more. And definitely check out the live stream. It should be around Thursday, guys. And I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Once again, it's your boy, Video Good News. Subscribe to my videos. That's my two cents.